What's going on guys? It is your boy Dylan Final One here and today we are back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the 4K 60 Pro PCIe slot capture card. So with this capture card I'm going to be able to do all my live streams through my PC on my PlayStation. So this is how I'm going to be capturing all of my footage through my PC. And this was one of the best ways to do it because I have the new PlayStation 5 and I want to be able to do my 120 hertz pass through when I am streaming to my subscribers. And basically, this was the only solution that I was able to get readily available to me. So this is what I went ahead and went with the 4K 60 Pro. This is, like I said, a PCIe Express slot uh, card, so it will go into your... Uh, computer slot um, into your desktop computer and one of the reasons like I said I bought this was because I wanted to still be able to do my high FPS or high Hertz through my uh, gaming console and the only, like I said the only way you're able to do that is through uh, certain capture cards and this was like I said the one that I went with and uh, yeah let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the card for itself so here is the box open it goes ahead and tells you where to download and how to install it, it gives you kind of a little uh, program guide here and like i said it gives you a uh, website to go download the driver for this because you will have to download the 4k elgato software for this this is the 4k elgato capture card this is what it is it comes with the hdmi in and out like i said this has to be installed into your desktop pc and make sure you have the right requirements and uh graphics card cpu stuff like that in order to uh accommodate this capture card because there is some requirements in order to be able to use that so let's go ahead and see what we got over here we should have a pin actually what is that oh that's just a little sticker there and here is another um, DIN, so if you need a smaller slot, if yours isn't as long, you can change that out, so they include that. Let's go ahead and open up the tray. We should have another HDMI cable now. From what I have heard, this isn't the uh, 2.1 Gen cable. This is the uh, just, just a normal HDMI cable, so you will need to have your full connections 2.1 Gen in order to be able to do the 120 hertz through the PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox. So just keep that in mind. You will not be able to use this cable because it will not support the hertz that you need in order to um, get your pass through. Because all your connections have to be 2.1 Gen in order to get your 120 hertz out of the new gaming consoles. Okay, so here we are. We are installing the Elgato. We're gonna use the bottom slot just to keep it away from the GPU a little bit from heat difference. Now let's go ahead and pop it down in there. It is down. We need to throw the screw in. We'll have that tight. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in another expansion slot for USBs just to take another spot up here too as well. So let's go ahead and throw that in as well. Should just pop down in here into this slot. This slot right here might have to loosen the screw up a little bit to get it down there we go it is in so that is installed so we got some more usbs and then we're going to go ahead and slide this back in get that back down in here And let's get all the screws back on, get this assembled, and we'll show you guys how to install the drivers for the Elgato 4K60 Pro. All right, guys, so we got the Elgato installed. We're going over here to elgato.com. We're going to slide over here to downloads. We're going to pick the Elgato that we have, which is the Elgato 4K60 Pro. And then we're going to slide over to Windows because that's what platform we have. And then down here we have the uh 4k capture utility we're going to go ahead and install that going to go ahead and open it 
blah, blah, blah. We're going to run. We're going to go ahead and install it. You go ahead and do all this stuff over here. All right, so once you open up the 4K utility, basically what you wanna do is click on the settings up in the top right corner, the little gear wrench icon. You're gonna to go to devices and of course, select the right capture card that you have. This is a HDMI EDID color, or this is the color. Um, we're gonna leave that as same. Merged, we're gonna use display. So that this is the EDID uh, mode. This is basically this inside of the Elgato. So basically it's an EDID and it's basically giving you the bypass for your 120 Hertz or 240 up to 240, I should say. Um, we're gonna use 1080p down here on the EDID internal. And um, you should just be able to click apply and hook up your PS5 and start, um, of course use OBS or whatever you use to stream off of your software set up your card that way and um you'll be good to go with your 120 hertz on your playstation 5 as long as you have all the settings correct on the playstation 5 and make sure that you have hdcp disabled before you hook up your capture card before you hook your playstation up to your capture card make sure you turn off hdcp I can go ahead and show you guys that real quick on the PlayStation. We're going to slide over here to your settings and you're going to scroll down to system. You're going to click on HDMI and then you're going to click disable HTCP. Now, this is just a content protection thing and you only have to do this on the PlayStation. It basically, um, when you turn this off, you won't be able to go into YouTube or, uh, you know, Netflix, anything like that. It's just a perfect protection thing for uh, when you stream so that you're not going into uh, copyright videos or going on YouTube or anything like that through the PlayStation system. It's just a safety thing. So back to here, that should be basically everything that you need to do. Now, obviously, if you need to, you know, mess with your settings, change your uh, the color quality of your um, the capture that you're getting because sometimes the settings might be a little off. Um, but other than that, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Still find that one. Signing out. Peace.